We're building an island today. Now, where are we going to be putting this? There's not much room here to be building an island. You may be thinking, oh, we're going to build it in the sky, aren't we? We're going to be building up there, aren't we? Yeah, right next to the mountain range. That's where we're going to be building. Why in the world would I build in the sky if I didn't preface island with sky island? I mean, come on, seriously. And look at this camera. Isn't this fun? I have been seeing people use it, and I really have been a digging it. Now I've been doing some work here and waxing. This whole side is now fully waxed and all of that, except for that lone block, is waxed on that building now too. Got plenty of wax in the old wax farm underneath and I am really looking forward. I'm not gonna wax that. I kinda like the blue dragon. I think it makes it look pretty good because it contrasts very nicely. Now this stupid little block that's up here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go get it. Hold on, give me a second. Take that, you stupid. Oh my goodness. Thought I got every single block. I probably missed one more, but it don't matter anymore. How many do we got here? 41? 42. Heard that. Yeah, 42. All right. Oh, nighttime. Now you might be remembering that, boy, we have a lot of work to do here. We have all this planning here, and boy, I gotta get used to this camera. It's kind of strange, but I kind of like having myself down in the like lower third. Uh, we did a lot of planning here and uh, we were going to do this whole road and stuff and we're still going to do that. But I genuinely don't want to do it today because I have some plans for this area that's actually down here. Uh, we were going to be doing like a crescent shaped house. I'm going to throw that out the window. Don't want to do that no more because I got a better idea. Uh, we're going to be making still this like vineyard thing here, and then we're going to be connecting up with a bridge across this way. And this is all going to be uh, flattened a little bit and probably going to make it a bit bigger so that we can have a little bit more housing and stuff. But this is going to be kind of like countryside farmland area. And I'd like to build here just because... Oh, yeah, 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 I got to go back and wax that. It'll look a lot better once it's all waxed in the actual like same color and not just the like patina green. And nobody likes the patina green when you're building with orange. But we need to go build an island. Now, I know some of you probably are wanting to know where I've been, what I've been doing and all that sort of jazz. We're going to be talking about it. Don't you worry. I want to do a time lapse. And when I do a time lapse, I'll do a little bit of discussing about where I've been and stuff. I've been on a bit of a break and been doing a few different things. Uh, life's actually got real busy um, and it was actually pretty uh, nice that I was not making videos for a bit. Um, but I'm hoping to be able to get back into the swing of things. Uh, and the gist of it is basically I took a break to focus on art and stuff. Still doing that, getting back into the swing of it. But we moved recently and um, so also been dealing with that. Hello, village. We definitely need to do like a village transformation at some point over here. I think that could be fun. But you may be wondering, why are we going to go and build an island? And where are we going? I haven't even stated where we're going. Well, we're going to go back to our OG starting village island place thingy. And uh, the Cycladic village is what uh, where we're going. And the reason for that is because for a build that I want to do in the Nordic type of village nordic norn norn village i think is what it is it's based off guild wars 2 so it would be a norn um we're gonna be needing some coral and specifically some dead coral now i have a data pack in this uh world where i am actually uh, able to make basically oh my gosh what a brave man i am uh <coughs> This camera stuff is kind of strange. Maybe this isn't the best angle. But I've got a data pack in this world that allows us to make sustainable coral because I don't really like the idea of having to destroy a coral reef uh, if I don't have to. And uh, during the update, conveniently, we actually uh, got a coral reef right next to the Cycladic Village. Uh, we were starting in 117, and then one, when 118 dropped, we updated, deleted all the chunks around our island base, and uh, what the? Oh yeah, and that's what happens. Uh, we updated, and then all the mobs were left where they are, so there's a whole bunch of floating things around. Uh, so that's uh, great. Hello, bees! And bunnies! Ah, the bees, the bunnies, the cows, everything is just <laughs> floating. Ah, kelp, I don't want you. Go away. But I want to use dead coral in our build. And so for us to do that, uh, we need some 
warm ocean biome to form in order for us to make a farm because I had previously made a farm but it was in a cold ocean and I'm a derp and didn't even look up how to do it I just went and did it and uh, made the farm and it's now a seaweed farm and that's all it's good for uh, but that's okay that is not normal to see in a savanna biome Thank you, world generation weirdness. I love ya. You make my game feel just a little bit less immersive and a little bit more derpy. And sometimes I'm here for that. Sometimes I'm not. You know the sad thing here about this image right here? All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight polar bears. It's a pretty good reflection of real life, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the whole world underneath their feet just got fully deleted and melted away. And there it is, the Cycladic Village and Bubbles. <laughs> Oof, I love this place. I love it. I think it looks wonderful. And even though we have texture changes in from afar, it looks pretty dang good. Man, we did good here. I think it's good. I'm I'm a fan. I'm a I'm enjoying this. Oh, it feels so good to be back here, man. I really enjoyed the island life building that we were doing. I think it's a, a really fun style that we got going. And it just uh it just looks so dang good. I need to see what resources we have in here, if we have any diorite, because I'd like to the reason we're back here and um, why I'm willing to use some of the uh blocks here is because I want to um, utilize uh, diorite and <laughs> okie dokie. OK, we don't have much diorite. Do we have any calcite? That is also important. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, OK, dokie. Well, hmm, that's no good. <laughs> uh, OK, dokie. I thought we were going to have more resources, but I guess not. Maybe. We go and we check out the beacon. See if there's anything. Oh, I forgot to cure you guys. Hmm. Hmm. That's no good. Oh, it feels good to be back here, though. It's nice to run around a place that's complete. Well, it's mostly complete. Well, almost complete. Torches. Nothing. Nothing. All right, yeah, we're going to... Do we have efficiency five? Okay, we do have efficiency five. Okay. We don't have mending on this, though. Oof. Okay. All right. There is die right there, though. Okay, we're not... The thing is, I need to... Ch let's check how much stone we have. Okay, we got lots of this stone. Okay, that's good. Uh, We need, we need just regular stone. I may have messed up. Well... That's not enough stone to do what I want to do. So we're going to have to do some farming for stone. Our pick will last. It's on breaking three, so it'll last a little while. Let's do a little scoping here. Uh, boat, where are you? All right, we got the wide angle lens going on here. So this is the coral reef that is brand new and is marking where we're going to be roughly building. It's more in this warm ocean area. OK, good. There is an island. Maybe that's just what we build off of, unless this is actually just like desert. May just just be desert, actually. I actually kind of think that it connects up to a desert, which isn't exactly. Yeah, OK, so there is a desert just like right here. Hmm. Not exactly what I want, but we may just have to suffice and uh, call it Good. Uh, let's also, how in the world am I paddling like this? Like herpy derpy all the way. Just one moment. I want to run around on this island again. I really enjoy this island in particular. I just like everything about this build. Hello, cows. We'll have to breed you up to get more food, potentially. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I miss it. I just absolutely love this area. I think it's so good. Let's close all the doors. Oh, uh, it's so good. I'm just very pleased. Like revisiting this, this was a good decision to do. I'm very happy with it. There's still stuff to do here as well that's not like fully complete, but for the most part, I think it's pretty good. As much as I don't like being next to this desert, 
Maybe this island is the best choice. It's small, it's in the warm ocean biome, so it's guaranteed to work. We don't have to do nearly as much building. It's got the coral reef aesthetic around it. We can delete some of that island over there. I think this is going to be where we build. Now, the great thing about this island is it's uh, already pretty decent shaped. I mean, like, it's pretty decent pretty big we don't have to really expand it out that much and that's really and and i'm not going to raise it up that much from the ground either i think it's going to go like two blocks tall uh and so it's gonna we're expand it a little bit so it's not just like suddenly like boom island i want it to kind of expand out but a lot of the heavy lifting is already done thankfully because most of the ground around it is pretty good i mean like you've got blocks here that are going to be coming up like this is a little bit of a cliffside on this side but if we come over here which man messing with this camera is uh kind of whack it to try and move around but over here like you can see a nice little gradient kind of coming up and i don't really have to mess with that too much usually you want to like blend it all up so it looks like it's naturally like coming up from the earth we don't have to do that here that much so that's going to be great but all that said let's go ahead and get on into some uh, resource gathering so we can start a building this farm up so we can then get into the next episode later on down the line you know when we have time and we can build some stuff in the old norn village And there's a nice clean blank slate for us to go from. I decided to just go ahead, build up the base of the island and make it about as big as I wanted it to be. Uh, where the scaffolding is there, you can see that there is uh, four markers and that's roughly how big I think the island farm is going to be. Um, but we may have to play around here or there with how big it's actually going to be because I'm just genuinely not sure uh, how big this farm's gonna need to be um this island i think i'm gonna fully get rid of uh in, in its entirety and just kind of dig it down to where it's level with maybe right there um and then place some fake corals and stuff down there so that it kind of just blends in i may honestly get rid of all of these so this is truly just an island out here alone um and doesn't feel like it's connected up to the desert at all just yeah, I don't I don't want it connected to the desert. So that's how big the farm is going to be. Not going to be that big, not going to be like that extensive. And I'll figure out where I'm going to put the storage on it. I'm thinking one of the sides potentially or just like in a hatch down below so it doesn't have to like take up too much of this. And I'm still figuring out how I want to go about doing the actual design and build of it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the farm off and then maybe we'll jump into a time lapse of actually figuring out the design of the farm. And while we're doing that, I can talk to you a bit about where I what I've been doing as I've been gone uh, and kind of show you some of the progress I've made. All right, Brewberries. Well, it's been a little while, uh, probably about a week since I last recorded. We have officially moved and I am in my new office. If the audio sounds different in these later clips, it is because my microphone setup is entirely different. It's the same microphone, just in a different position, and I have it to being further away, but a little more sensitive. So hopefully there's not much difference, but there may be a little bit more background noise. I'm not really sure. There could be more echo. I'm not sure. The walls on in this room are currently blank, so there's not a lot to uh, get rid of any sort of... Um, echoing and hopefully that's not a, an issue um but just bear with me and uh we're still getting the house set up and uh, we're really excited though so i wanted to continue recording though so if there's i'm just sorry if there's issues but we're gonna keep forging on look what we've got back here you can see we have something here so this is essentially you've already seen it before but this is the coral farm that we made uh, in the island over yonder, uh, but then it became a kelp farm because there was no actual good <laughs> way for me to actually do this uh, over there because it wasn't in this uh, coral reef biome. If we grab this minecart and we go in here and we just start a moving and whacking with a silk touch pick, we will go back and forth like so and we'll break all this different coral and stuff that forms. And while we do miss some, uh, it 
generally, if you get your mouse in the right spot, it does hit all of them. And uh, so back and forth we go, using a little bit of bone meal every time. And this is this is it. This is all that's happening. It's real exciting. I can guarantee you I will not be actually paying attention to this when I'm doing this. So that's the farm in a nutshell. And then it all floats up here and goes through here and goes down into this little hole. And that's all I've got so far. Uh, then it all gets collected right here. And you can see already quite a bit of the corals. And I've already done this a few times just to make doing some testing just to see. And so then if we just go ahead and dump all this in there, boom, there we go. All this coral and stuff. Now, I don't remember exactly how to make the blocks. I think you have to use two and two of each potentially. I'm not really sure. I don't actually have the data pack installed currently to make coral fans and coral, just coral into actual coral blocks. But we will be doing that. I'll have that by the end of the episode so y'all can see. But that's the farm in general. Um, next, what we're going to do is actually work on the build itself. We're going to probably do a time lapse or something. What I'm thinking is there's going to be a little bit of a, a upper area here. So we're going to have this upper area. And it's going to be, oh, just like one block bigger than this, I think. It's just going to be like a display area, essentially. It's going to look like a big old white building like what's over in the Cycladic Village. And then on the back is actually going to be an entry point that will go. I'm thinking it's going to go down. Uh, and we're going to have like a glass dome underwater storage area. Not really going to be any sort of build or house or anything like that. So not going to be an actual like livable building. But I wanted to make it feel like something where it didn't need to necessarily be a legitimate building. Uh, but it's going to be in the Cycladic style. So I need to go get some diorite before we do any of this. Um, so bear with me as I get some diorite. And we'll jump on into building to finish this guy out. All right, y'all, so this is the uh, third time recording this final clip. And uh, I only tell you that because uh, this is now one full, one and a half full months past since when I started this episode. So I have a new microphone set up, as I had mentioned earlier. And here's the final build of the Coral Farm. I love how it turned out. I think the facade looks really great. Uh, only issue is uh, that I'm having to re entirely figure out my microphone. Just also if there's background noise and stuff, I think the way that my setup now is going to pick up some of the construction work outside. And I just ask that you uh, deal with it with me. But here is the final build. Hopefully this is the last time I have to actually talk about it. But and hopefully my microphone, if it sounds weird, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of getting a little fed up with it. Uh, I'm going to have to play around with the microphone settings a little bit on, but that's OK. So final build, and uh, I decided to add on some more copper themed stuff. So all the copper up there it looks all cool and all, but I added these bigger pipes kind of look like it's like pumping out water. And then on the back here, what you didn't see in the time lapse build was actually so this was a very bland wall, but it kind of I didn't want to add anything else to it. So I decided I'm just going to add some piping 
and make it seem like it this is like piping in water from the actual like ocean uh in order to run the coral farm top of the farm nothing too crazy no automatic storage uh sorting because that would have brought this wall all the way like i had started it there's a little clip of me starting to build it and then i realized this wall would be all the way out to like here or here so i opted to not do that and so instead we just have regular old storage and i just kind of sorted it like it'll like normally sort and then we can kind of do that as it fills up but there is tons of storage here so i probably honestly won't organize the rest of the i don't think i don't think will ever fill up beyond this row because <laughs> I'll probably just use it, uh, use it up as I go. That's going to have to do it for this episode because, oh my gosh, it's taken forever to actually get this one figured out. Um, so I am uh, terribly sorry for any microphone. Yes, I hope you guys are at least OK with the build. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so the only thing left to do here, and I'm probably going to do this between now and and next episode, um, we actually need tons of sand for what we're going to be doing next episode because we need a lot of TNT, and that's all I want to say about that. But uh, we need lots of sand. This island is made of sand and needs to go so that this feels like an actual island in a coral reef area. Uh, so this island needs to go, and this island, and that island. But that's uh, that's kind of where we're at. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. Sorry for all the wonkiness again. Just getting, it's honestly getting back into the swing of recording as well uh, because I haven't done it in a little while. Also, sorry in the time lapse. I know I didn't update y'all on uh, what I've been doing, drawing and stuff. I am going to do that. I just haven't, to be frank, I haven't actually been able to draw in the past like two and a half months. Work and moving and all sorts of stuff. So I had a good month and a half to two month stint of drawing five hours a day. Uh, but then, uh, well, we decided to move and then work out crazy. So I just haven't been able to really focus on it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're going to start in on to our 119 plan. And it's going to be real crazy. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. You're just going to have to stick around to find out. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Uh,